Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to just show you how to replace a, uh, a blade server on, an, on a Dell PowerEdge M1000. Uh, I'll give you a little bit close up, M1000. Now here, you do have in the front a small mini display. And the mini display is basically to give you some sort of an information. So if you click on the enclosure and you take it to the next step, what needs to be done. Also on the front here, if in case you want to connect your monitor and USB mouse and keyboard. Now the reason it's flashing here is because basically we have one blade server that is down. Now, with this enclosure, it's housing 16 of it. As you can see right here, you could count from one, two, and so on. And this is the one that is really not working. How do we know it's not working? You could see an amber light on it. I will show you how to take it out. Uh, but on the other hand is if you happen to do that and you need to do configuration, let's say you want to change the iDRAC IP, as well as the asset tag. Oh, that's very important to know this. If you change the motherboard on this particular one, you must make sure you change the iDRAC as well as the uh, asset tag. And to do that, you need to burn the ISO. So I already burned it on a flash drive, or you may need an external USB uh, DVD, which I brought with me just in case. Now in here, I want to show you where you could hook up your monitor and keyboard and everything else. Once you do that, you could see, first of all, to get to the screen, every, everyone is different, but most likely you need to press on the keyboard the print screen right here. Uh, let's see, on the keyboard print screen. And once you do that, it brings you to the Dell main. And from here, you could, you could select which server that you need to work on. So I already have it highlighted as number eight. The reason is because number eight, it's the one that I'm working with. So let me see. Let me show you how to take this one out. Since this is like hot swappable, you could turn it off or not. But since this is already down, you make sure you press, you see, this one right here you need to press it first and you pull okay and you pulled it now here i did earlier which is much faster to show you what i did okay so i took out the uh the sim memory the dim memories I should say and the mezzanine card the mezzanine card are two tiny small ones right here and this one as well as also CPU 2 once you take out the um, the server or the blade you put it down you press this button and you pull it toward that way as the arrow indicator you lift the cover and that's what you see as you can see this is CPU 1 CPU 2 and what I did is basically I diagnosed the situation by taking out all dim memory and I only left one for each CPU after I did that it did not work so I took out the next CPU as you can see right here the next CPU 2 and the dim memory took out the mezzanine card and I tried it again and it didn't work so now we know definitely it's the motherboard is faulty the motherboard is this one you can see here now here's a trick about this how you take the motherboard out to get the motherboard out you need to take this one out okay just bear with me I'm only using one hand <laughs> And to take this one out, I almost forgot, you need to take out the, uh, the hard drive in the front. That's why it's holding it. You press it. You know how. You take the hard drive out. 
Once you take the hard drive out, this one comes off. I almost forgot about it. So don't force it if it doesn't want to come out. You take this one out. And then there's nothing else is in here that you need to take out. Uh, you just flip it simply like this. And there is a button right here. I'll show you. You see this button? You press it. You make sure you press this one and you pull the motherboard out. That's how you do it. All right, if you have any other questions, let me know. Make sure you put everything back the way it was. Obviously, this one would be first. This is one of the mezzanine cards that goes in here first, like this. I want to show you a little bit. Okay. And then you put this one, it goes right here. You lift this one up. And you put this one like this. And you close it. And that's about it. If you have any questions, you let me know. And let's just see one more thing. And that's how it's done. So if you want to switch to another blade, that's a good thing to know. See how it shows red it's been out you could go at the next you could go to the next server if you want press enter and it takes you to the next one see how you know it's up and working it, it turned out to be this is this one seven i don't want to get too much info there because that's someone else and that's how you know it's up i hope this one helps you out this is a real environment working on a dell uh, server enclosure which is a power edge m1000e so i hope this one helps you out if you have any questions let me know thanks you have a good day